pull. We're going to kick off with some stiff legged deadlifts. Use the wall if you need to. One foot. All right, lean it over. Bend back up. I'm trying to get the shape of a T. So I'm pushing my leg out as far as I can, squeezing my glute there. Back up. I'm going to do 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds on the other. Try and keep your back straight as well. What we don't want is this position here. So it's always here. So we've got a good position in that lower back. Five seconds left and we're going to switch. There we go. Come around the other way for you. Switch my hands. It doesn't really matter too much which hand you do it with, but I prefer to go with whatever leg I'm standing with to use the other hand. 10 seconds left. Now ideally you don't want to put your foot on the floor, but if you need to, if your balance is a little bit wobbly, that's okay. Eventually, that's what we want to do, keep the feet off the floor. All right, we're going down onto the mat, pike press. So you're going to have your butt sticking up in the air, like so, looking behind you, dropping your head down. So working the shoulders here, do as many as you can without having to take a rest. It's only 30 seconds that we're here for. If you're a bit more flexible than me, you can pull it in a bit. Five seconds left and we're going back on those deadlifts. All right, back on the deadlifts. All right, so same again. One foot, get your balance. Back straight, controlled. Should feel a stretch in the standing hamstring and back of the thigh. Looking good. So we're working hamstrings and butt and lower back here. And plus all those little tiny muscles around the ankle joint and your calf. Switch up. Ooh, nearly lost it. All right, good control still. Don't rush. Ten seconds to go. Back on the pike. Ooh. One more for luck. All right, back on that pike. All right, here we go. 30 seconds again, butt up in the air, looking behind you. Lowering your body down, so your head pretty much kisses the ground if you can manage it anyway. Been working the shoulders nicely here. Quick check at the time, one more rep. All right, now to finish this off, we're gonna go mountain climbers for a total of one minute. Let's go. Knees up towards the elbows. If you're struggling, put your hands on a table. You might struggle more than you would do normally after doing those pipe presses. That's it. Yep, my shoulders can feel it. Come on, try and get through this. About 30 seconds left. So working the core here as well as the shoulders. <clears throat> and plus we're getting the lungs going as well. All right, 15 seconds to go, keep it up. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. There you go. So your shoulders should feel that, at least mine do. And that's it, all done, all done. Speak to you later.